what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk actress Jay Ellis has tied the knot with Nina Sinekar over the weekend and that was last weekend they had a very beautiful marriage ceremony in Italy and of course his wife is of Serbian heritage and she is also big in the Italian film community she does a lot of her work in the international film community but now living in Los Angeles it brings people with permanent interest together and Jay Ellis uh, as we know got his big start from Insecure, which is produced by uh, Issa Rae. Now, I'm not saying that he wasn't acting before, then obviously he was, but that is the role that brought him into prominence. And I believe at the time when he got that role, he landed it at around 33 to 34 years old. Already, um, you know, in Hollywood, that might be old for a guy, uh, but he kept trying, right? And once he became Lawrence on Insecure, it made him very big especially in the black female um, dating community. And I'm talking about like as far as the eligible bachelor. And, and the reason is because Issa Rae's show is really targeted towards black women. But now once he married Nina Kasinikar, now he was dating her for the last, I believe six or seven years, they have a child together. Black women in the comment section really said some nasty things. I'm not saying all black women, of course, it was not all of them, but it was so bad that he had to turn off the comments to, invo to avoid criticisms of his interracial marriage. Now, let me just say this. We have some black men who are in, you know, the black world community, the Pan-African community. And of course, some of those brothers are going to have things to say about interracial marriage and things like that. Um, but now most black men are not going to have enough time on their hands to come by and you know comment on your particular situation and start to talk shit about your relationship most black men are not going to do that if you really want to be honest most black men are not going to do that okay now who typically does that it's women and i'm going to tell you um how i know that to be true because most women um especially if it's singers like uh, let's say Bilal, um, you know, R. Kelly, people like that. They feel that these people, well, because they are in the black female entertainment, you know, spaces, that they owe black women um, something. All right, that's the, that's the truth. You know, you you're in our entertainment space, so you owe us the fact that you're going to be with a black woman. And so you had all these things of people calling him names people saying things about him. Oh, he's a sellout. You know, he don't want to date sisters. And even this sister here had to come and uh, talk about it. Um, her name is a journalist. Y'all harassing Jay Ellis on his Instagram photos of his wedding just because he married a white woman is a little gross for me. She doesn't deserve that. And neither does he. Another person says, I respect Jay Ellis turning off his comments. Bro, proactively close up channel of disrespect that could be aimed at him, his wife and his happiness. Protect your peace. But now one thing I want to say about this, if it's a black woman marrying a, uh, a white man, do you see that? Black women are never going to go ahead and do that. Okay. If a black woman is marrying a, a white man, are they going to go to uh, Serena Williams comment section and start saying that? No, they're going to congratulate her. Oh girl, get you a white man. Oh girl, you're doing good. But now it's only if the black man does it. Okay. It's only if the black man doesn't. Here's proof. The brother here goes, now y'all trying to drag Jay Ellis, but didn't have the same energy for Quinta and her white partner. So black women can dance hard their race and it's fine, but y'all dragging a black man for doing the same thing in the math, not mathing. That's exactly the fucking truth. And here's the reality. These are the men that y'all don't want nothing to do with until they become somebody. I'm gonna say it. Most of these black men, when they are 33, 34 ain't made it yet most women will get they not talking to, to those dudes and i know that because i was one of them when i was 33 34 don't get me wrong i had one or two sisters that was interested in me but not like it could possibly be now 
right? Because at that, you, you, you haven't made it yet. See, some sisters want to be able to st st sit there at the finish line and wait for the guy to be done. And then, okay, I'm ready to date you now. You, you making a, a quarter million dollars a year. Now I want to be with you. But you wasn't there when that guy wasn't doing very well. You there now. You wasn't there when that guy was broke. You there now. And now when the brother went to the breakfast club and says that his wife is what keeps him happy outside of his acting career. Well, where were you? Okay. And the reality is, is going to, is going to expose the black community for what it is in the dating things, which is when it's a black man, y'all don't see him as valuable as you should. That's what it's about. Why don't you view that black man as being valuable? Okay. Now we don't want to talk about that. Now we have a problem with that. Oh, he's not valuable. Oh, we got a problem with that. Is that what it is? Y'all won't talk about that now. But when he decided to do something else, somebody else, y'all not there. So is it a one way street? Is it that black men need to compete for you, but you don't compete for him? What value are you bringing to these guys? And see the women of the other communities that want to be with him, including some black women themselves, they're coming to the table well, oh, brother, we see this guy is doing something. We want to be with him. Okay? We want to be his wife. All right? We want that. But now, why are y'all not saying that? Our sisters coming to the table saying that we want to do that. My answer is, where, where's the evidence? You don't want to compete for the guy that y'all complaining about. But at the same time, he gets somebody who does want to compete. It's a problem. I talked about Angela Simmons the other day. Angela Simmons um, is now body positive. So I don't have a problem with that, right? And you've seen that Angela Simmons has gained significant weight from three to four years ago, and she wants to be where she's at. That's fine. I have a problem with that. A lot of women applaud her on that. But now when you look at Jay Ellis and look at his Serbian wife, what does she look like? She's very fit. So now when guys start going towards this, they're sellouts. And I'm not saying that you don't have black women that don't like, like that, because they do. But what I'm saying is, where's the effort? These black men are not even talking about black women. See, usually what you hear in the black community as well, we only attack black men. And I'm gonna use an example like Tommy Sotomayor when he said that, because he's always attacking black women, okay? I can understand if a black man has harsh words towards a black woman. But he's, he, he, see, here's the situation right now. Here's the situation right now that I want to talk about. What about when black men are just doing what they're doing, not talking about black women, you go out and you do something different. Oh, they're successful. Let's come by and drop hate comments on this Instagram because we don't like his dating choices. Cause y'all always say, well, if he just goes out and just dates who he wants to date and don't put a black woman, then we're okay with that. Okay. Then explain this, but you can't explain it because see certain people expect that black men are supposed to take whatever that you're putting out. And it's not the case. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate your follow you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all-time high. I'm out.